Hey there folks, it's me the Tactical Brit and Battlefield 5's 6.0 release has been released and it's come with a brand new map which has decided to launch a few days early thanks to DICE and also a happy accident which has also revealed some weapons early which wasn't technically meant to happen but happened anyway. Either way, it's nice, it's cool, uh, we get a couple new weapons as well to play with straight away. And that is the very anticipated M2 Carbine and Model 37 Shotgun. They unfortunately got switched on when the maps got switched on early but you know at the end of the day it's new content and I'm glad it's out early regardless of whether or not it was supposed to happen. Um, likely we'll see some replacements coming in for them in Tides of War. They were supposed to be unlocked somewhere down the line but I'm sure DICE will have something up their sleeves instead. But let's talk about Solomon Islands. Now this is a map that came from the same people who created Argon Forest, uh, which is kind of a, I don't know, the best way to describe it is a sort of love or hate scenario. Argon Forest is very much a CQB kind of map, very linear. Uh, directed pathways and, and more or less the kind of map you come to expect from a sort of grindy style of gameplay. But for the most part, Solomon Islands is certainly a much more open version of anything that Argon Forest was. Argon Forest was very narrow, very linear, and while Solomon Islands certainly does retain some of that, it is in fact quite an open map, and it, that certainly shows on some of the conquest layouts. I gotta say, it's a fantastic looking map, and for any of you out there who have watched Apocalypse Now, it kind of has a bit of a vibe to that, especially when it starts getting a little bit darker and the rain starts lashing down, and it has a really good feel to it. I think certainly the levels of action and intensity around some of the objectives, combined with some of the weather and the backdrop, Honestly, it makes a great experience, it's really atmospheric, um, and in terms of gameplay, it flows incredibly well. I'm quite excited to see whether or not we see more maps like this in the future, uh, or whether or not we'll see any more of the Pacific in the future, because Solomon Islands, in my opinion, has capped off a great set of maps that have been released for Battlefield 5, and I really feel as though anything of this level of quality going forward is going to be exciting for anybody who's looking to play. The shining star of it all undoubtedly is the M2 Carbine. I feel as though this is kind of counteracting some of the cheese levels of gameplay we've seen from the Type 2A, and the M2 Carbine is certainly, I suppose, what you would call the assault rifle variant of the Type 2A. It's a very high rate of fire assault rifle, and it does really good damage. And it's a surprise considering how very little recoil actually exists using this weapon, um, which was something I wasn't actually anticipating. I, I kind of predicted the M2 Carbine being kind of a skill cannon with plenty of you know recoil but it's changed it's changed and for the most part it seems to be a great weapon for those of you looking to have that high rate of fire ability on the assault class so i'm pretty happy with the overall content that's been revealed today um i really feel as though to start with uh, at the very very least the map is fantastic um it plays well it looks great and again it really is just kind of a summary of what the Pacific Theatre has offered towards Battlefield 5. It's one of those great theatres that has had really good content and really strong content shining through everything that it's done. So very impressed in terms of what Solomon Islands is offering. The weapons themselves as well look fantastic. I think, again, as much as I would love to see the Type 2A taken away and locked down, it's nice to have an assault variant alternative now without feeling like you're just being cheated or constantly losing, which is kind of what the Type 2A did to game play in Battlefield 5 and now we sort of have a counteraction to that. But for the most part, I really feel as though this is a solid content drop. I don't really have anything negative to say. In fact, the only real criticism I have of all of this is the fact that, A, of course, yes, there are still some balancing issues, and perhaps the next 6.0 update is something I would like to see. But secondly, I think there is certainly a discrepancy on the breakthrough mode where the attackers seem to have far too many tanks. That's something that I've noticed. I think at, at one point you can have up to four or five on the field, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. Um, and I don't really want to see tanks have that much dominance in Breakthrough, especially when the other team doesn't really get that many in that front. And I don't think relying on the Type 100 or Type 10 even uh, turrets is not really the way to go in terms of map design and balancing. I'd like to see some of those tanks perhaps scaled back or perhaps more on the defensive side. But for the most part, other than that, I think it's a very acceptable and very good content drop. 
I think some of the dense, narrow parts of this map are going to be some of the favorites for anybody playing, but I think certainly around the middle objective C on Conquest, that's where this game mode really shines for me. You've got these two dense brushes of, you know, rainforest around you, and then suddenly you've got this sort of open land with rivers interconnecting, and it really becomes this sort of cross-land firefight that I certainly think looks good for the game. But I think that's about it from me today. Um, honestly, I, I think it's a solid content drop and there's not really much else to say and I don't really want to long this video out out of just random necessity. Of course, I still have some balance problems that I'd like to see addressed in Battlefield, but we're certainly heading a step in the right direction with this content drop and I'd like to see more of this and certainly a positive step in the right direction. Anywho, folks, it's been me, the Tactical Bro, today. As always, thank you for watching and I'll leave you with some short gameplay.